I, I know a lot of the talk in this game is just kind of about the big men, but they've got those two freshman guards, Smith and Larry, who have just fit in so well in, in a lot of different facets, the way they can pass, the way they can shoot. Um, what do you think in studying them has allowed them to adapt quickly to what Purdue wants for, out of their guards? Yeah, um, I think those I think so those two guards really came in um, and performed really well um, at a high level in the Big Ten. It's, it's been really impressive to see that. Um, but I think um, you got to give a lot of credit to their program and just the way they um, get guys ready. So I, th I think they've they've come in and fit their mold pretty well and they've done a great job. Uh, Jim Coyle. Trey, talking about those the – those freshman guards, what do you guys need to do to disrupt their play, or their, how well they have played this year to try to disrupt what they're trying to do and get accomplished? Yeah, um, I'd say just follow our game plan and know what we got to do. I mean, we're preparing these past couple of days and we're, we're going to study up on what we got to do to um, put ourselves in position to, to win the game. So I think just um, – following up our game plan and, and, and following what our coaches want us to do. Uh, Kyler. Hey, Trey, thanks for your time. Obviously, it's a big game tomorrow. Just in general, how special is it to play in the Indiana-Purdue rivalry? Oh, it's real special. Um, I mean, it, it's a rival like none others, and I think just the atmosphere and the anticipation of the game is just is great. Um, it, it's it's going to be a great environment. Both places you go, I mean, Assembly Hall and Mackey are both great environments. So I think this game means a lot to many people. Um, it means a lot to, especially me being from Indiana. So I can't wait. Mason? Trey, you've been in this starting role now for a little bit with Xavier still out. How comfortable are you in that role? And, and how have you seen yourself kind of develop in that role? Um, I feel pretty good. Uh, um, I mean, obviously we want, we want Xavier back and – we're hoping to get him back here pretty soon. So I think just staying the course and um, just, like I said, doing what the coaches need me to do and ask me to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep doing that. So I think just um, playing my role, it's, it's been good. But um, just keep doing the little things and trying to help the team win. Tyler. Hey, Trey, I uh, hope you're doing well. Um, I know this is a little off topic, not as much related to basketball, but um, – I understand you're a fisherman. Um, I was wondering who taught you how to fish. And, and also, I understand that uh, you were described as a persistent fisherman, I guess, in that you you want to keep fishing until you catch the fish. And would you agree with that assessment? 100%. Yeah, um, I got my fishing skills from my dad. Um, and we kind of we live up live up there in Colburn on Lake. So I've always just loved the fish. And I got it from my friends at a young age. We've always just done it. So I think just uh, I mean, I, I got away from it a little bit. Since I got in college, but in the summers, I, I really I get after it. Alex, all right, Jim Coyle, Trey. Um, when we talk about games like this, uh, and people love to talk about it's another game you know it's just the next game and all that but it's not just another game games like this they they are bigger they do mean more and while you have to play this the same game the same rules and all that there, there's more going into it emotionally how, how do you differentiate that and keep that separated yeah i mean you said there there's a lot of emotions in the game and a lot of ups and downs and it, it's it's going to be a di different atmosphere um, what it feels like, but I think just staying in the moment and knowing on um, the task at hand, that's that's one thing we want to do is just try to find a way to win the game. I mean, they're number one in the country for a reason because um, they're playing really, really good basketball. So I think we just – we got to stick to our game plan and know that there's going to be ups and downs in the games, but we got to stay together and, and know that it, it's a big-time environment and it's going to be loud, but – it's 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 also it's fun. We should we should enjoy it. All right, back to Alex. 
Great. Thanks for the time. Appreciate it. Um, you guys just kind of looking at the free throw rate for your opponents, which is basically how often they're getting to the line. You guys are one of the lower ranked teams right now in Big Ten play. How how much of an emphasis has that been just in practice leading into this game, defending without fouling? And can you, you know, just identify anything when you look at film? Maybe you guys aren't doing as well as you need to and try to carry that into this game against a Purdue team that really does well getting to the line. Yeah, I think just defending without fouling is a big, big thing we need to focus on. Like you said, um, obviously the Maryland game, we we fouled way too much, especially me. I've been, I've been, I've been too handsy on um, on defense. So I think just for me, just focusing on moving my feet and playing um, defense without my hands. I think that's the one thing I need to focus on um, to help myself stay on the floor more because I'm getting these foul troubles and it's taking me off the floor. Um, so I think just. Like you said, play, playing um, defense without fouling and playing solid, and I, we've we've done it we've done it before. And we can keep doing it, but I think just going back to our basics and and you know what we got to do. Last question question for uh, Mike Schumann. Yeah, Trey, I was just going to ask you about you know getting in foul trouble as well. You you, you pretty much answered the question there, but I, I guess how fine of a line is it? I mean, you you want to be physical in the Big Ten, obviously, but you. You know, you got to have the right technique. What? How do you strike the balance there? Yeah, um, I mean, it's tough. There's a lot of a lot of my calls are 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 based on my hands and hand checks and stuff. So I think I got to really limit that and kind of take my hands off guys and start going back to using my feet and using my athleticism to guard guys. So I think just th those little cheap fouls that I, I can't I can't pick up early is, is what's killing me. So I think just Staying away from that and playing solid, that's going to help me out a lot. All right. Thanks, Trey. Thank you. We'll see you guys tomorrow.